Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates channel. I'm Vanessa Kelly and I'm gonna walk you through today a chair workout. I am using a balanced body piece of equipment. It is a one-dead chair. It does have a split pedal. However, we're not gonna utilize a split pedal today, um, not in this workout, but it is going to start with some basic, more fundamental exercises and we're gonna progress into some little bit more intermediate challenging exercises. Again, we can make modifications if you need to. So listen to your body, make those necessary changes um, with the spring tension. And if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and begin with the springs on one, spring on three. So taking your spring to the very third cactus and we just need one of those springs to begin with. We're gonna lie on our back. And before we get started, just go ahead and place your feet on the foot bar and just windshield wipe those legs back and forth. Take it a moment to get in tune with your body. We're gonna begin with pelvic curls. So take that foot bar and place it all the way down. Make sure you don't feel so scrunched up to the foot bar, but you have a comfortable position for your knee and you're pressing deeply into that foot bar to resist the bar lifting up. On your exhale, go ahead and bridge those hips all the way up to your shoulder blades. Inhale at the top and exhale to articulate the spine all the way back down, releasing the tailbone and then repeat. Rock those hips back, peel your spine off the floor, holding your breath at the top for an inhale. On the exhale, really activate through your hamstrings, through your glutes, doing everything you can to keep that foot bar down as you lower your spine and also release your tailbone into back to a neutral pelvis. That's the most challenging aspect of this exercise is that we still want to maintain that connection through the hamstrings. Beautiful. Take your time as you articulate the spine and find the opportunity to press firmly into the floor, widening your collarbone, opening up through your chest. Beautiful job. Keep that energy coming out through your fingertips. Exhale to rock the pelvis back, scoop that belly down and in. Squeeze those glutes at the top as you inhale. Bring those arms up overhead, lengthen out through the spine. Good, think opposition here as you roll yourself back down. Carefully lowering, releasing those hips. Bring those arms back where they started and let's do one more here. The hips lift up. We're gonna reach those arms up and overhead and exhale, rolling your spine down. Release the hips. Beautiful. Take those arms back beside your hips, palms are down. We're gonna bridge ourselves back up, holding yourself at the very top. And we're gonna take the right ankle over the left knee. And you're gonna dip your right hip towards the floor like you're tipping the coffee pot. Really opening up from that hip flexor and pushing your right knee away from your body to really feel the openness here. Nice. Resquare the hips, lifting that right leg to the ceiling and placing it gently back to the foot bar. Left ankle over, right knee, and dipping the pot. Just feel that stretch through the low back, through the front of the hip. Making sure your right knee is stable and strong, looking towards the ceiling. Beautiful. We're gonna raise that leg up, place that foot down, and then slowly rolling your spine all the way to the bottom. Let's carefully release that foot bar back up, and you can keep your feet placed on the foot bar. Arms up towards the ceiling, and take an exhale to curl and flex the spine. Beautiful. A few hundred preps here to get the spine warmed up, the abdominals warmed up, thinking of bringing your chin to your chest to keep your neck in a very comfortable position. Exhale, curl. Good. We're gonna prepare you for hundreds here. If you like doing the hundred prep, go ahead and continue with hundred prep. Otherwise, going right into your hundreds, we're just doing it halfway, so we're gonna go to fifties, but you're inhaling through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth, pumping those arms up and down. You got it, almost there. Nice deep breath. 
long exhalation out and lower everything. Beautiful, arms out wide to a T, palms are up. Let's take those legs one at a time into tabletop, gluing your knees together as a tight unit and sway your legs over to the left hand side, keeping your right shoulder blade glued down to the floor. Exhale to pull through center, inhale over to the right, Create this heaviness as you pull the legs back through center. So think of your lower body being very independent from your upper body here. We're inhaling to one side. You'll wanna use your exhale to pull through center. Make sure that you're pausing in the center and that you're not rolling on your sits bones from left to right like a pendulum. We wanna make sure that we are finding that stopping position. Beautiful. Let's carefully go ahead and sit ourselves up. I still am on one spring on three, and we're gonna take it into a couple variations of teaser. So sitting up nice and tall, legs are wide, feet are flexed. Let's go ahead and hold on to that handle or the foot bar nice and wide. And on the exhale, you're gonna press down, but facilitate the movement from your abs. I know that might sound a little difficult, but think of your abs really pulling in navel to spine and think about the muscle groups below your armpit pressing that pedal down. So you're not really using a ton of arms here. It's really being maintained from your back muscles and your abs. So we're creating that core experience. And just about five there. If you like that variation, go ahead and continue. Otherwise, let's take your legs all the way up to the chair. Arches are gonna be right on the edge of the chair here, and you can have a micro bend at the knee if those hamstrings feel tight today. Same idea, tuck that tailbone under to develop a C curve, and we have about six to eight here. You're pressing deeply into that pedal. You're gonna scoop that belly and hold those abs in nice and tight, using your breath to facilitate the movement here. Beautiful. Make sure you're breathing and doing the best you can to keep those shoulders down and away from those ears. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and change it up to footwork. So I'm gonna keep the one spring on three, but I am adding an additional spring and that is going to one on two. So finding your second cactus and placing the spring on that second cactus. Let's start nice and tall, sitting with your heels on. Place your hands in front of the chair and begin to press down. Again, focus on keeping your eyesight straight ahead as if you were balancing a book at the top of your head. This will encourage your spine to stay tall and to avoid any shifting of the upper body. Beautiful. Exhale to push through those heels. Inhale to slowly bend the knees and return up. Good, little pulses there. Activate those quads. Feel that deep work in the very center of your thigh. Let's transition to your toes, staying parallel. Heels are lifted. Exhale to press down. Beautiful. Exhale, press down. Inhale, bring it back up. So notice here, I'm not pushing all the way down to the floor. It's really not necessary. Otherwise, you're going to, to really jeopardize the, your body positioning. So the goal is just to feel the work activate in the very center of your thighs. Exhale, press, inhale, bring it back up. Shoulders are down and little pulses right there really feeling that tight muscle above the knee and the heat there. Okay, let's take those hands behind the chair to really open wide through the chest and we have heels together, toes apart in your first position. Exhale to press down, activating through those inner thighs. Good. So all this footwork here is helping to strengthen your ankles, your knees and your hips. And all at the same time, you're working on strengthening your back muscles. There's nothing supporting you here as you sit up nice and tall. And this is where we develop the core strength. Good, exhale, pressing down for pulses. Beautiful work here, guys. And all the way back up. Let's take the heels out very wide. 
and turn those knees outward. Once again, with her footwork repetitions, anywhere from six to 10 is a really good uh, ballpark here for each of the variations. So depending on the day, pick and choose what feels good for you. Remember to breathe. Chest is staying open, eyesight straight ahead. Beautiful job. Adding pulses to finish that off and returning back to the very top. And again, with pulses anywhere from six to 10, depending on what, again, you're feeling that day. Last variation, down to your toes, stay wide. Let's add some arm movements. It's gonna be nice just to get the shoulders conditioned. And this also adds a great challenge to maintain your neutral spine. Good, maybe five one direction, five the opposite direction. A little coordinated movement, so do the best you can. You can always eliminate the arms if this is too much for you. Nice. And then let's return, coming down to the very bottom, and we'll go right into some calf raises. So position your right toes on that foot bar and allow your knee to rest gently against the edge of the chair. Your left foot is flat. Make sure your heel is down and connected to the floor. As you push and press through your right toes, your right ankle, really working on the mobility. Good, and again, six to 10 repetitions here. You're gonna feel the work in your ankle, your calf, and also the work in your quad, just from the footwork we did previously. Switch when you're ready. Set yourself up, long spine here. So take a look at your spine, make sure you're not rounding, but maintaining a neutral spine or a flat back. Shoulders are down and you can hear your breath. Beautiful. And carefully coming off of that. All right, so let's go right into some full pikes here, getting back into our abs and our upper body. So toes are on, we're in parallel. Position your shoulders over your wrists. As you put your weight forward, allow that pedal to rise on up, lifting your tailbone toward the sky. Yes. So if you need more weight, feel free to make those adjustments. I didn't touch my springs, so it's still the same springs as it was for footwork. And just practice here. Just let your weight fall forward, using your abs to lift those hips up. And we're doing about 10 repetitions. Once we hit the very top here, let's add 10 more small pulses, but scooping that belly up and in, lifting a little bit further for up, 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 up. Good. And then you're going to slowly lower everything back down when you're ready and carefully take one foot off at a time. Good. And that's a really great series, the full pikes, just to see how far you can progress. Obviously, if, you, if that wasn't challenging enough, you can always decrease the weight. Right into some tricep dips. So hands are on, fingers are forward, toes are on, heels together. Soften the elbows as you allow your body to just lower towards the floor. Push from the back of the arm. Find the number of repetitions that work well for you and encourage your shoulders to roll back as you look straight ahead. Excellent. Anywhere from six to 10 reps is really nice there. And we're gonna go right into tendon stretch. So keep those toes on in a parallel position. Hands are exactly where they need to be. And you're going to reverse your pike here. So lifting those hips up behind you, again, think of this string wrapped around your waist and it's lifting you up towards the sky. And let's do about six here, but anywhere from two to six is a great starting point. Full body integration. And then rest it down carefully. Awesome. 
Again, those are not easy exercises, so just do what you can and make it a mission just to work towards that and see how much you can progress over the next month, the next six months to a year. Moving along here, I did take the springs down to one on three. So just one spring on three. And we're gonna do some hamstring presses. So toes are on, making sure that your knee is more than 90 degrees. So it's like about 105 degree here. And then it's like you're not even pressing down all the way, but focus on dragging that bar towards you. So drag the pedal towards your body so you can feel your glute and hamstring connecting. And we're doing 10 repetitions here. But this is great standing work to challenge your balance and to strengthen the hamstrings and your hips. Nice and tall once again as we switch positions. And exhale, press down. So think about instead of pushing the pedal down, Think of dragging the pedal towards you, if that makes sense. Good, and notice it's a very small press. It's not a very giant press. Shoulders are still down and you are breathing. Relax your right toes. Make sure you're not gripping the mat or the floor so much. Beautiful, keep those abs working just as hard and then come back down. Good, let's do a side series here. So switching, right toes are back on, you're balancing on your left. We're gonna get the inner thighs working here just a little bit more. Beautiful, so again, think of your right heel dragging towards your left inner thigh. Yeah, it's a very active right leg. It's a very active left leg. So feel those inner thighs like magnets pulling towards one another. And this also helps to strengthen your pelvic floor. Good, and again, just 10 repetitions here, and then we'll switch. Make sure that your foot is parallel, looking straight ahead. Keep your heel on your left side lifted up nice and high, and challenge yourself. If you don't see it lifting up higher, try to come up to that high heel position and push firmly with all of your toes down. So again, just self-correct. And if your range of motion is super tiny, that's okay. Because you're gonna feel the benefit and the work, the intrinsic work so much more. All right, let's finish that up. I'm gonna turn my chair around so you can see me from a good view, good angle. And we're gonna go ahead into Barbie here, which is gonna focus on obliques and back extension. So you're gonna lie on your hips first, like if you were gonna do a side plank, and then take your bottom leg and place it in front of you and then reach your top leg behind you. Find that foot bar nice and wide and using your back muscles to lift the pedal up. I was still on one spring on three, but if this is super challenging, make sure that the weight goes up higher. So maybe go one spring on four. If this is too easy, you can always take it to one spring on two. But this is a quite challenging exercise. So again, really think about the muscles throughout your entire backside lifting you up. And then when you're done, go ahead and carefully come on off. Good. We're gonna take it to the other side, so left hip goes down. Go ahead and scissor the legs and find your hands on that foot bar, but really wide once again. Your shoulders should be squared over your wrists. Deep breath there. Inhale to lift up, exhale to press down. Inhale, just feel those back pockets moving down your backside towards your hips. Beautiful. And really think about the obliques here, lifting you up. Try not to go all the way down. It will be harder for you to lift yourself back up. And we definitely want to collapse towards the floor. Good. Keep those legs energized. And then slowly return and come back up. Beautiful. 
All right, we're gonna go into some one arm push-up planks. So go ahead and um, I'm gonna keep my spring tension the same. Come to all fours, left hand on the pedal, right hand on the floor, walking yourself out to a plank, or if you'd like your knees down on the floor, that's obviously another option. And stabilize the shoulders as you bend and soften your left elbow, push and press down. Push and press down, good. The hardest part is keeping your hips squared and your shoulders square. And planks are hard enough, and now we're adding a, basically a tricep press here. And then bring it back down. And I did about six repetitions here. Guys, you can pick and choose. Maybe you don't even want, even want to add the push up here. Maybe you just want to hold plank, and that's fine too. Okay, set yourself up on the other side, walking those feet out. I like to keep my feet a little bit more separated for balance. And then again, inhale to bend the elbow and exhale to press down. Make sure your eyesight is on the floor and you're not looking up. Good, maybe drop your right hip a little bit more, lift your left hip up a little higher. Yeah, now you can feel those abs working. Beautiful and bring it down carefully one at a time. Good work. Lots of upper body today. It's really nice. The chair is so great because it is really about us using our own body. Um, obviously we can add that resistance to make things a little bit easier for us, but it does enable us to, to push ourselves and challenge. So right into a kneeling side, mermaid, separate your knees, right hand to the bar. You're gonna stretch yourself over, feel free to hold your mermaid stretch or you can add in three more push-ups and release. Take a nice counter stretch, left hand to right hip. Make that nice lateral flexion and exhale, reach it up and over. Just trying to give you all the options in case you wanna make the most of your workout but again, you can eliminate the bending of the elbow here. Beautiful. Lengthen out those ribs and separate. Let's do this one more time. So reach it up and over, shine those ribs up. Look down at your hands for good proper neck positioning. Push those hips forward. Yeah, just a little bit more. And then releasing into that counter stretch and come back down. Let's turn you the other way. Again, have a nice separation with the knees. Make sure they're not together. And then from here, press into that left arm, stretch it out, and then bend. Keep your left shoulder away from your ear. And slowly return and come back up. Take that counter stretch. Left hand to the pedal, reach it up and over. And we're bending for three and two and one. Beautiful. Last part of the series, stretch it up and over, maybe even square your hips out more. So push that right hip forward, left hip back. and take that final counter stretch the opposite way. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna do one more exercise. I'm gonna adjust my spring to one spring on two. We're gonna do back extension, swan on the floor. And one on two should be a pretty reasonable weight for everyone. But if you need to reduce it, I would go to one spring on one. I wouldn't go higher. And then take your hands on that pedal. Make sure you're lying on your stomach and legs are separated. Very carefully as you press that pedal down, allow your chest to rise into extension and you're inhaling to rise. You're gonna exhale to lower the chest. Again, when you're doing this exercise, think about the lengthening aspect, not as much how high you can come up but we really wanna focus on your spine, just separating, creating some space between the discs. 
and that the work is coming from the back of the shoulders and running down all the way towards your hips here. Nice. And do what feels right for you. I did about six repetitions here. You can do anywhere from three to six. That's a nice comfortable number. And take a child's pose when you're ready. Beautiful. And then from here, we're gonna carefully roll ourselves up. So curl both toes, walk your hands towards your feet, eyesight down. Begin to push those heels towards the floor, get a nice forward fold here as you stretch the back of the legs. And then slowly start to roll yourself up one at a time. Shoulders roll back. One more time, reach it up and over. Dive yourself all the way down. And thanks again for subscribing, guys. Please feel free to check out some of the other workouts here and like, share, and subscribe.